The summer holidays are over. People have returned to work. The children are back at school. And this is my first podcast since July. So, what sort of summer has it been in Britain? Let's start with the bad news. Our economy is in big difficulties. Prices are rising, especially prices for food. Petrol prices are now so high that people are using their cars less and trains and buses more. Holidays abroad are now much more expensive because the British pound has fallen in value. Our economy has stopped growing. Indeed, there may be a recession next year. That is, a period when the economy shrinks or becomes smaller. Our Chancellor of the Exchequer, that means our Finance Minister, certainly thinks that things are bad. He recently told a newspaper reporter that the economic position was the worst for 60 years. Many British people own their own homes. They buy their homes with a loan from a bank. The last ten years have been a very nice time to own a house. House prices have risen steadily, and people felt that they were getting richer, so they spent more. In fact, Britain has had its longest period of economic growth for 100 years. But this has now stopped. House prices have fallen, and everyone expects that they will fall further. The fall in house prices has been the fastest for over 25 years. This is bad news if you own your house already. It is good news if you do not own a house but would like to buy one. However, the really awful thing, the thing that makes British people really gloomy, is the weather. It has rained since the end of July. We have had the wettest August for many years, and there has been hardly any sunshine. In many places, August has been the dullest August, that is, the least sunny August, since 1927. It is still raining, and the weather forecast is, yes, more rain. I am glad to say, however, that the summer has had one happy thing for Britain. At the Olympic Games in Beijing, British athletes won 45 medals. That is the highest number of medals since 1908. We even won more medals than the Australians, which is very satisfying. So, while the rain poured down, we could at least watch the Olympic Games on television. The next Olympic Games in 2012 will take place in London. Will they be the wettest Olympic Games ever? Or will it stop raining before then? Goodbye.